It is generally not possible to launch Windows 10 on Pentium 2, but in this video we will try, and we will try harder. The test system is an OSIS P3 V4X motherboard with a slot 1 CPU socket. To speed up an installation process, we will use a Pentium 3 900 CPU with a slot cat adapter equipped with a 2 GB of RAM. And here's a GeForce uh, 430 GPU in the pure PCI form. I have even managed to run RTX 3070 Ti video card on the exact same motherboard. I will provide a link to this test video in the description. Ok, and here you are witnessing BIOS configuration with a Pentium 3 CPU currently installed. 16GB SSD drive is present in the system using SATA to IDE adapter to boot up. This is a Windows 7 starting for the first time after a to-go pre-installation using a tool called Rufus. The link will be in the description as well. The specs show that everything is correct. Another small task is to install a 32-bit GeForce drivers on that Windows 7. I have found that version 314.22 is the last version that will work with this card on this OS. And now the juicy part. We will need a QM virtual machine emulator. It will help us to misinform Windows 10 about lack of SSC2 instructions and an X flag. These usually strictly required to install and launch Windows 10. 2019-02-18 build worked best for me, trust me. I've tried most of QMO versions. Right now I made QMO full screen in order to make things cleaner. There is another large SSD in this system, connected to PCI USB 2 adapter, containing ISO files and other stuff for this system. This part is speeded up drastically, up to 20,000%. It took 1 hour and 28 minutes in real time to boot up Windows 10 on Pentium 3. Ok, let's check out system properties. Now you are witnessing a real-time operation. Running Windows 10 build uh, 1507 on Pentium 3 900 CPU using QAML. Here's the funky part. It kept blinking like this for 16 hours and 28 minutes. <laughs> but finally showed up the result. Ok, here you go. I have not survived the wait this time, but like after a few more hours it would show up a CPU name that would say QM Virtual CPU. All the QM RAM would show up as well. Yes, you can even specify another CPU model, let's say Core i7 Sandy Bridge, but it only degrades the performance. So QM Virtual CPU worked best for me in this case. Ok, now it is time to swap the physical CPU in the same system to Pentium 2 400. In this case, GT430 video card did not want it to work with Pentium 2. Gladly, I had GT610, also in the pure PCI form. Windows have redetected the new CPU and most of the hardware. <laughs> Gladly, I don't have to reinstall everything. Let's run HW Info to ensure the specs are correct. Pentium 2 400 and GeForce 610. Very neat. I will remind you that there is no SSC2 and no NX bit in this CPU to support Windows 10 without QAMO. And yes, we will be launching the same command line. Here we go, a Pentium 2 CPU with a Windows 10 built 1507 PE ISO is starting up. This time we will not run it full screen, 
And here is a task manager of Windows 7 while launching Windows 10. 100% CPU usage all the time. And there is a lot of free RAM, so two gigabytes of system RAM is more than enough. This part is 4 hours and 16 minutes of footage speeded up. And now you can even move a mouse of Windows 10 a bit on Pentium 2 running on Windows 7 in QAMO. I have not managed to open any window, it all seemed impossibly slow on Pentium 2. And please know that PE version is a lightweight version of Windows 10, used for deployment of PCs, workstations and servers for troubleshooting, and that's all according to Wikipedia. Okay, thanks for making it through with me. This video took a really long time to make, a lot of try and fails were made. I can say that it took a year to make from the point of acquiring the motherboard to the final edit of this video. Please uh, like, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.